Okay, now that you have all of your images masked out and uh, set in your file, we are ready to transform them and start to add some layer adjustments and color changes to your image. You want to make these images look like they are part of your background image as closely as possible. So we're going to start with my FJ Cruiser and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put everything right up here on my ledge of this cliff here. Uh, and we're going to start with the FJ Cruiser, so I need to transform that. And if you look at the scale of this person, she's relatively small. So I'm actually going to scale everything down to be really, really, really small. So you want to do Command T, which is going to scale down your objects. And when you're doing this, you want to drag from the corner anchors, not from the center anchors. So you're going to click a corner anchor, hold the Shift key, and drag in towards your image to go smaller and out away from your image to make it bigger. Um, and before you let go of your mouse click, you want to always let go of the mouse click first and then the shift key. If you do, do it the other way around and you let go of the shift key first and then the mouse click, you're going to end up distorting your image and it's going to get all stretched out and wonky and it's not going to look good. So make sure you let go of the click of your mouse first and then the shift in, shift key. Then click the enter key and that locks in your scaling. So we're going to put this right up on the ledge here and I'm actually going to make this look like it's just peeking in from the side. Then what I'm going to do is transform my giraffe. So I'm going to do a command T again. Use one of the corner anchor points. Hold the shift key while I'm dragging it down. Let go of my mouse click first, then let go of shift and hit enter. Then I can drag my giraffe up here. And actually, I need some more space, so I'm going to pull my picture down a little bit. So I'm going to add my giraffe here. I need to readjust my FJ. You can also use your arrow keys to nudge your picture a little bit. And if you notice, my giraffe actually still has some lines there that I need to go back in and remask out. So you can just click back on the mask side of your layers palette, choose that paintbrush in your black paint, and mask back out those little bits that are that I missed. Um, so I've got my one giraffe in there. I may only use one. I'm going to hide these other giraffes. And then what I'm going to do is choose which TARDIS I want to add. I think I'm going to add this one on the right hand side. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, so what actually, no, I'm going to add the one on the left. I think it goes better with the picture. So I'm going to choose my TARDIS layer and I need to actually continue to mask out the side of the TARDIS that I don't want to use. So if you want to go back in and re-edit a layer mask, just make sure that you've clicked on the mask itself in your layer. You don't want the left hand side of that layer image to be highlighted or selected. You want to select the right hand side. If you do select the left hand side, you will actually start to see that you're painting black paint onto your picture. Um, so you don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is grab my paintbrush, make sure I'm selected on black paint, grab a relatively large brush because we don't have to be precise with this and mask out the TARDIS that I'm not going to use. So we're just going to click on that and mask out the part we're not going to use. Make sure you don't leave any extra bits lying around. All right, now that I have the TARDIS, um, I need to transform it, so we're going to do a Command T again. We're going to transform this to be really small. And what I'm actually going to do is put my TARDIS somewhere over here, maybe down here. So he needs to be even smaller. And hit Enter. So now that I have all of my objects in here. It is time to start with our layer adjustments and we're going to change the colors and uh, play with some of the 
shadows and the colors of each one of these images. So go ahead and hit Command S to save your project and move on to the next tutorial.